to create. Sometimes our desires to create are blocked spiritually, mentally, emotionally, or even physically. And this prevents us from reaching our highest aspirations. If you are an entrepreneur or you would like to become one and you're in need of some sage advice and direction, then you're in the right place. As a successful entrepreneur, spiritual guide, and intuitive business coach, I can offer you the clarity and support you need to find success and reach your goals. With decades of experience as a trusted tarot card reader, a franchise owner, my practical and spiritual approach to entrepreneurship will help you reach your full potential as an established business owner. Whether you're struggling with making tough decisions or simply trying to find your path in life, I can help you learn the tools you need to create your business dream. Take some time today and schedule your free consultation with me so that we can begin to make your business dreams a reality. Hi, hi Capricorn. Thank you for being here. Thank you for liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribing to the channel. It is much appreciated. All links are below if you need to get in contact with me. Let's go ahead and get into it, Capricorn. Thank you, God, for blessing Capricorn with a clear, concise message from you. All right, so Capricorn, you've got adult children. You've got join in. You've got take the next step now. All right, so some of these adult children could be making you upset if you have any. You could be the adult child. Now you're having to look after maybe ailing parents or it's just like more so you, you feel like your parents should be more mature or have things together better than they do. Some of your parents could live with you. Um, join in. You need to join in a group of people in person, not online, um, like-minded individuals that do what you want to do get to be where you want to be, right? This could even be in terms of networking and career. This could be love and romance. Maybe you need to do speed dating. I don't know. We'll pull some cards on it. Take the next step now. Whatever it is, it says the universe is saying if you take the next step, we'll take the next five steps get behind we'll get behind you but you have to take the next step now you have to show the universe that you're after something and that you really want it um volunteer okay so you're gonna have to put something out there you're going to have to just do it you know not be prompted to do it not be pushed or propelled to do it but just do it volunteer how you feel volunteer your work volunteer you may even need to get around um, do some volunteer work. Maybe that's how you'll meet people that can further you in your career or maybe even a love interest. Okay, so it's just about getting out there and doing something and making yourself visible and then taking the next step. Now, it's like you on the road to success, maybe even recovery, but you need to take the next step now recovering from something, a loss of. Let's see. What is adult children? What is happening? I'm seeing this red in this card. This some adult child could have just really upset you, or you are the adult child and you're just upset that you're taking care of these kids. I, not today. That's what I'm talking about. Some adult child has made you upset. Not today. You're not dealing with it. You're avoiding a conversation or a call or a person. Boundaries. You're still angry. I couldn't make it up. You're still angry. Or, or they're still angry at you, or whatever it may be. You're still angry. You're just not today. Join in. Join in. What do you need to join in, Capricorn? Okay. Whoa, these cards are flying out. Mirror. So mirroring each other. Self-image. Relationships reflect our wounds. Introspective. Introspection. Um, so you might need to like do group therapy. Volunteer can sometimes talk about that. You got both of these cards. Join in and then volunteer. You might need to do group therapy. Or you just need to hang around your friends and just talk about how you really feel about something that happened with you or around you or surrounding you, okay? Because you may find that maybe other people are going through the same thing. Um, you also may need to join a group of people who are just like you trying to lose weight because self-image is coming up or change their image or something about image or uh, self-help also. Let's see. Yep. We've got motivation showing up uh, and dietary change. So if you want to lose weight, you might need to be around people who are trying to lose weight. So this could be like group training 
um, group, uh, yeah, group uh, wor uh, working out, aerobics training. This may even be getting a trainer, you know. Take the next step now. The snake, competition, enemy, clever, malicious, look over your shoulder, the other woman. You need to take the next step now and maybe facing somebody head on. You understand that they're competition. They're an enemy to you. That means that they're contrary to you and what you want and how your life goes. Um, they want the contrary of that. They don't want your life to go how you want it to go. So that's all enemy is to you. They're trying to be clever, malicious. This could be your competition. Also, if you're in some type of business or you have your own business, you need to take the next step now. Maybe securing yourself or patenting is what I just heard. I don't know. Um, somebody could be stealing your work. Oh, take the next step now in terms of, yeah, patenting or trademark or something like that. Uh, yeah, yeah, okay. I just, somebody I know who's the Capricorn, that, that resonates with them, um, that part. So, mm. okay. Yeah, because we got the moon card, hidden enemy. Somebody who's hiding, trying to be deceptive. They could be a taker. They're coming to spy, take, and then use for themselves. Deceptive. Deceptive. Um, they're acting like they want the same thing as you. Maybe they're coming to take him. We'll put this back. If they are competition, they are contrary to you. All right, let's see. So we had um, adult children and not today. Adult children, semi adult child has made them mad, or you are the adult child, and you're mad at your. You are mad, Capricorn coming out, the devil card coming out. Maybe they made you spend money. Maybe they made you overindulge. Maybe they made you overspend. Maybe they just put you in a place of you feeling bound, trapped, stuck to them. You just want to break the chain. You feel like you need to be loosed. Yeah, two of pentacles can't make it up. Um, you, you, you're not done with them in totality. Like, I'm just done forever. But you're done for right now. The two of pentacles that says something is still up in the air. You've got to look over the account of or the account. Something about money though. Because the two uh, the twos talk about earned income or money. It talks about every day doing something each and every day. Value, priority. Some of you are the adult child and you're taking care of parents. Um, and you just feel like you should just be you shouldn't be doing this. You know, you, you're, you're upset. you you're almost speechless, but you got a lot of words, but you're almost speechless. Um, you don't want to deal with it. Not today. Somebody is always calling you for money. Someone's always calling you to get them out of a, a jam. You feel like you're, you know, you're stuck in this negative cycle with them. One card of advice. Oh, okay. All right, let's see. Join in, Mira. So you might need to, this could be like health and well-being. You know, you need to change your diet. You need to be around people who eat better, um, healthier. You might want to lose weight. You might need to do group uh, training, uh, exercise. Yeah, Eight of Cups, that talks about my treadmill, walking it out. You know, um, it also talks about with the Eight of Cups going on this journey of unknown length. You don't know how long it's going to take you to lose that weight, but you know that you need to take this journey right now. The Eight of Cups, walking away from something that is unfulfilling. You know, maybe, you know, being around people who are gluttonous and eat anything and do anything and drink anything and go anywhere and sleep with anybody and blah, blah, blah. You just don't want to be around it anymore. You're leaving. You just want better. Um, you're leaving out of self-respect. You're losing weight out of self-respect also. It's not because you're trying to attract or you're trying to be better than or, you, or somebody told you you were fat or you were ugly or whatever. It's more so this is out of self-respect. You want to get back to the way you used to be with the Eight of Cups here. Is what I'm saying. Um, Self-discovery journey, also spiritual journey. This could even be spirituality too. You know, something pushing you towards spirituality. Something pushing you towards being your yourself. Yeah, you put up boundaries, wounds. So this could be like healing, a healing journey. This could even be group therapy. All right, so it says take the next step now, and then we have the snake because we got some competition trying to slither in, steal, take. You need to trademark, patent, put something, put your name on this. Nine of Cups, yeah, they're trying to steal your creation. Um, something could be very um, something that you create: happiness, abundance, 
joy, lifestyle, drink, eat, marry, take the next step now. Someone sees that you're happy, but it's like he's happy, right? He's got a couple rays, but there's like mice up here or rats up here. Somebody's trying to see. They see you happy. They see you shining. They see you abundant with the nine of cups here. And they're trying to take. They're coming in to see what they can get. This could be another woman to your relationship that she can see you happy. Or uh, another man seeing you happy, wanting to come in and just destroy. Give me one more card for the, okay. Yeah, Ace of Swords, third party, three of cups with the Queen of Cups. So somebody sees you happy, abundant, maybe even having a baby. You, got, you just got married. It could be a third party, the other person. You need to take the next step now. You might need to confront this head on. Somebody also sees you with commercial success. So you're reaching a lot of people, right? And they want a piece of that with the Ace of Swords. I heard like papers, deliberation, serving you. I don't know. Maybe somebody's trying to take something from me, trying to be clever. The Queen of Cups could talk about maybe somebody being vindictive, uh, think, trying to get ahead of you and your thinking, um, strategizing on how they can take from you. How to get a piece of what you've created looks like she's pregnant here somebody could see you just happy maybe pregnant with a new idea or a baby all together they want to come in and like sever that for you sever that happiness give you some truth about maybe how they are sleeping with your man they're sleeping with your woman but don't let that sever your connection Face this person head on. If you still want this person, even though they cheated on you, whether it was yesterday or yesteryear, let that other person know, look, I'm the one with the ring and the baby. What you want? Okay, you had my man. Guess what? Somebody else had him before you had him too. And somebody before that. And somebody before What the hell am I supposed to do? Fight the world? Girl, you better get on. And try to raise my blood pressure. Mm -mm, I'm with child, okay? The nerve. The nerve of people trying to come in and disturb your happiness. All right, let's get some advice for Capricorn. Full moon, yeah, you need to let something go. Combust, combustible. Let it go. Let it go. Yeah, just let it go. Um, release it. Release it to the moon. You know, um, let's see. So we got the King of Wands, um, Aries, Sagittarius, Leo. Uh, there might be some secrets that this King of Wands was keeping from you. It doesn't have to be that they are a fire sign. It was just somebody who's maybe handsome. They got a lot going for themselves. They may be a business owner. Um, they're smart. They make moves. Um, they're unafraid. They could even have like a, a bit of psychic type of, you know, spidey sense with them. Um, they go after their desires. They're kind of, you know, they like their home because they made their home really nice. Yeah, eyes. You got somebody watching you with a spy and a snake here. So, hang on. Somebody's watching you. Jesus. Suffer in the reverse. Um, coffin. Somebody tr trying to put it into your relationship, put it into you or your business or whatnot. Or I don't know, but it's in reverse. You got a lot of people. And we're back, Capricorn. Woo! 
that was an exercise. Okay, okay. All right, so um, somebody wanted the relationship to end or your relationship to end. They don't want you to be married to this person. This third party wants to come in and cause friction to the point where maybe you would leave or the other person would leave. Yeah, we got some some jaded woman here with the Queen of Swords coming out. What else is happening here? Yeah, the Queen of Cups again. So we got somebody here who could be with child. Ooh. We got somebody, we got your complete opposite Capricorn. So we got the Queen of Swords and then we got the Queen of Cups. You could be the other woman Capricorn. I don't know what side you're lying on, but somebody is, it's two women here and they might be fighting over uh, a man or two men fighting over a man or y'all do that. I'm like, I can't keep up, right? Um, but they could be your complete opposite. You could... Um, have a lot of hair and somebody has none okay or somebody wears wigs and weaves and they're fake oh somebody's real and the other person's fake or did a third party somebody wanted to put it into an existing relationship let's get Capricorn some cards to close this out protect your work and whatever you're creating this one to come out yeah, beard. Somebody could be like, you know, gay, lesbian, but on the, they're on the kind of like down low. They haven't really come out. It could be some, an older person, gray hair, you know, them hot, keeping this secret. It's just, it's been a long time coming. Somebody just wants to tell the truth at this point. Yeah, I stare at your pictures for hours. I'm obsessed. Somebody is obsessed. The third party could be obsessed with. I'm in love with two people, help. Yeah, so it's like, I don't know if this is you, Capricorn, or someone you're dealing with, but somebody is willing to do battle over this person because they plain or addicted. This is, oh, this is like, this is scary at this point. I'm scared. I don't know what's going on. Yeah, somebody is, um, okay, so somebody's protected here, an earth angel. Could be a feminine energy. Um, money is holding me back. Somebody feels like a feminine energy with this Queen of Cups is um, Queen of Cups coming out twice is an Earth Angel, but they stuck. They're stuck with somebody else. Ooh, this Queen of Cups could have left the situation, right? And now somebody is seeing that now that she's gone, um, she's the one. You know, now. Um, now that the smoke has cleared and the fog is gone, it's lifted. Someone is seeing that you're the one, uh, Capricorn. Even though they may have chosen the Queen of Swords over you. Somebody wants to come towards you, Capricorn, but money is holding them back. And, yeah, they see how they miss how loving you are. Maybe by March they'll come to you. Maybe they'll have their money together. Maybe they may even move towards you. Residential move. May try to even move where you are. This is what they chose over you. Some likable situation, but now they're bored. And now they just want to be friends with this person because the relationship is failing. It's all true. Now they want a divorce or somebody wants you to get a divorce. But the relationship is healthy now. Somebody don't like it. Somebody was like in a third party situation where they had a wife at home and a man on the other side. And then this man is upset, maybe even a little bit hurt that this man went back to the wife. Okay. That's also one scenario. And then they also could have just been, you know, traditional man, two women in love with two different people, two different women. And this other woman is like stalking him, single white female, I don't know, like crazy over him now. Um, won't let him go. Um, we got like a Virgo woman here. Bitter by herself. Somebody's bitter. Somebody could be barren too. Lord, this is too much. Somebody 
somebody left the dynamic and just left that person to do whatever they wanted to do. And the one that left, the person that got left, right? Um, now they're seeing that whoever left them, that's the one. That's the one that they should be with. That the third party was just fun. And then if you got some work that you do, protect your work because you got someone trying to steal it from you. This is what I have for you, Capricorn. If it resonates, let me know how it resonates for you down in the comment section. Uh, go over to the website, book your own reading there. Ask a question or two by texting it to the number below. Um, now the camera's... Anyway, um, I'm live every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday night at 9.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Tonight I will be live. This is Thursday, um, and I will be answering your questions for free. So come, okay? Um, click the subscribe and the bell button so you'll know when I'm live. And if you want to get your own personal reading like this one, go over to the website and book there. Readings are 40% off, so use code 40 off at checkout. Thank you. Many blessings to you. Take care.